everyone, welcome to the TO1 tutorial channel. Today, we're gonna dive into how to use 15 models in the upscaling method. In today's tutorial, we will delve into understanding which types of images should be paired with the appropriate upscaling methods. I will provide some examples of raw images in the tutorial to help you better understand the differences. If you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the lesson. First, let's randomly generate an image for comparison. Okay. So, we've got the image up now. It's a standard picture of a house in the file size, about 1.07 megabytes. Next, let's go ahead and click on the button labeled upscaling method. Then, we're going to pick the latent option from the list of models. Now, let's hit generate and take a look at how it turns out. It's definitely much larger than the original image, with a lot more detail packed in there as well. The memory usage has also bumped up to 4.46 megabytes. So latent is this cool upscaling technique I use. It works in the image's latent space. That's like the compact code of the picture, where similar stuff is closer together. By tweaking that code, we can boost the image's resolution or quality before we even get back to the usual pixels. This way, we end up with upscaled images that are way sharper and detailed than what the old school pixel-based methods can do. All right, moving on to the next model. It's called Latent Anialiast. Let's go ahead and track down this model first. Right. Let's hit that generate button and see what happens. As you can see, there's a noticeable reduction in jagged edges and artifacts. Plus, it's enhanced the details and smoothed out the edges. And if we look at the enlarged image, the memory usage has bumped up to 4.45 megabytes. So, the latent and the alias method is like the big brother of the latent method. It adds an aneliasing tweak that smooths out those jagged edges and random glitches in your upscaled image. It's what you'd go for when you want your image looking sharp, but also flowing smoothly from one element to another. Coming up next, let's dive into using the latent by cubic model. Let's take a look and see what kind of results we're getting here. So, when we zoom in using this model, you can really see it does a stellar job of not just enlarging the image, but also enhancing the details. So, for those of you looking to boost the clarity without introducing too much sharpness or those pesky artifacts, this method is a pretty solid choice. The latent by cubic methods like combining the best of both worlds. You've got the latent method for those crisp details, mixed with by cubic interpolation which is all about making things look smooth and natural. It's perfect when you want to make an image bigger, but keep everything looking balanced, boosting details without going overboard on sharpness or getting any weird artifacts. This is the go-to for making your images clear and clean. All right, let's move on to the next one. Latent by Cubic Anialiast. This method is like giving your images a double treat, you get that crisp detail from the latent part and then smooth it all out with some by cubic magic plus aneliasing to get rid of jagged edges. It's like making your pics go from standard to HD without any of the rough stuff. So, breaking it down for our latent by cubic anti-alias method. It really shines when you are dealing with situations that need to reduce jagged edges, ensuring smooth transitions. It's the go-to tool for balancing detail enhancements and smooth gradients. You want that top-notch quality, that smooth look and feel. This is your method. It's got your back. Moving on to the next one, we've got latent nearest. First off, let's kick things off by creating an original image. Let's start by checking out the size of the original image's memory. The size checks in at 470 kilobytes. That's our starting point. Next up, let's crack open the upscaling method and pick latent nearest. So, the latent nearest method takes the latent game to the next level, pairing it with nearest neighbor interpolation. This is your go-to if you're all about preserving that pixel-y, blocky look while pumping up the image size. 
it's like a best friend for pixel art or images where keeping the OG vibe matters more than buttery smooth pixel transitions. After blowing that image up, the file size bumped up to 1.39 megabytes. And there you have it. That's how you give your images a size boost while keeping their original charm intact with the latent nearest method. It's perfect for when you want to maintain that retro, pixelated look without compromise. Keep playing around with it, and you'll be an upscaling pro in no time. Alright, moving on to the next one, we've got Latent, with Mirst Exact Interpolation. Here's an original image we're working with, and it's sitting at 1.05 megabytes in size. Next up, let's pop open the upscaling method and select Latent with Mirst Exact. Alright, let's break it down. Latent, nearest exact pairs up with exact nearest neighbor interpolation to punch up your image size while keeping the crispy, pixelated style. Just what you need for pixel art or vintage graphics. It sticks to the original pixel grid alignment when upscaling. Perfect when every pixel spot is key. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Up next we'll be diving into land shows. First off, we're gonna generate an original image for comparison. The Lancho's upscaling method is often used when you want to upscale an image with a focus on preserving high frequency details, such as sharp edges and fine textures. It's a popular choice for photographic images or detailed artwork where maintaining the integrity of small details is important. Lancho's provides a good balance between sharpness and smoothness making it suitable for a wide range of image types. And that's the scoop on Lancho's, folks. Remember, when your image needs that upscale touch while keeping those crisp details front and center, Lancho's is your go-to method. Perfect for photos and artwork where every little detail counts. It's all about that balance, sharp yet smooth, for just about any type of image out there. So, Give it a shot and keep those details shining. Moving on. Next up we've got Nearest. Alright. Diving into the Nearest upscaling method, here's the lowdown. You're gonna wanna use Nearest when you're all about keeping that classic pixelated or blocky look of an image. Think pixel art or old school video game graphics. It's super straightforward and quick. Just copying the closest pixel over without mixing things up or smoothing anything out. What you end up with is a crisp, pixel-perfect upscale. It's like keeping the retro vibe alive and kicking, crystal clear and sharp. So, to wrap this up, if you're aiming to preserve that nostalgic, pixel-perfect essence in your images, the nearest method is your best buddy. It's perfect for when you're not just upscaling an image, but also keeping a piece of digital history intact. Whether it's for pixel art or capturing that vintage game aesthetic, going with nearest ensures your upscaled images stay true to their roots blocky, sharp, and totally retro. Keep it simple, keep it fast, and keep it authentically you. Moving on, our next one is for X Ultra Sharp. Let's start by creating a kawaii anime puppy as our base image to compare with. So, the 4x Ultra Sharp upscaling method is what you'd go for when you really need to bump up an image's resolution, but keep all that crispiness and clear detail. This one's a winner for those top-notch photos, intricate art pieces, or anytime you can't afford to lose those tiny details. Alright, when you're aiming for unmatched clarity and sharpness in your images, this is your go-to tool. Perfect for bringing out the finest details in photography and art without compromising on quality. So, next time you're upscaling, think for X Ultra Sharp, because who says you can't have it all? Keep experimenting, and see those details come to life in ways you never thought possible. Alright, let's roll on to the next one, which is the 4X underscore foolhardy underscore Macri. So next up we got for X underscore foolhardy underscore Ramakri. This upscaling method is your go-to when dealing with anime style images or illustrations. It enhances resolution and clarity while keeping the unique look and vibe. You know, those clean lines, punchy colors, star contrasts you tend to see in anime and manga art. This method caters to all that. 
So, all you anime and manga fans out there, this one's perfect for you, and there you have it. That's the 4x underscore foolhardy underscore Lamakri for you. It's a total game changer for bringing those anime and illustration details into high def without losing their original charm. So, if you're looking to give your favorite characters and scenes some extra pop without sacrificing style, you can't go wrong with this method. Go ahead, give it a try and watch your images go from meh to wow. Alright, moving on to the next one, we've got Essergan underscore for X. This one's a game changer for bumping up the resolution of your images, all while keeping those textures looking sharp and refined. Whether it's photos, digital art, or even game textures you're working with, Essergan underscore for X is your go-to for making everything pop with more detail and realism. Trust me, it's a solid pick for when you're aiming to elevate the look of pretty much any image. And that wraps up our deep dive into the amazing world of Essergan underscore for X. This method is your secret weapon when it comes to revamping your images, enhancing texture, and capturing unbelievable detail. From photos to game textures, Essergan underscore for X seriously delivers. So, when you're looking to take your images to the next level, don't forget to make Essergan underscore for X your first call. Let's move on to the R Essergan for by plus upscaling method. Here's the scoop. It's all about cranking up your image resolution while cutting down on noise and amping up those texture details. Doesn't matter if it's photographs, digital masterpieces, or game textures, this method's got you covered. You're aiming for that crisp, detailed, clean look, right? Well, our Essergan for by Plus is your golden ticket. If you've been looking to add that extra kick to your images, our Essergan for by Plus is your new best friend. This method is ready to serve, be it for photos, digital art, or game textures. Craving a cleaner, more detailed appearance, our Essergan for X Plus is here to save the day. All right, let's dive into the R Essergan for X Plus Anime 6B upscaling method. This one's a game changer if anime style images are your jam. We're talking illustrations, animations, or any art that rocks those iconic anime vibes. Vibrant colors, crisp lines, and all that stylized goodness. What's cool about this method is it cranks up the resolution without messing with the unique aesthetic that makes anime well. So, if you want your artwork to pop with even more clarity while staying true to its roots, our Essergan for X Plus Anime 6B is your go-to. Let's get those anime images looking sharp and shiny. And there it is. Our Essergan for X Plus Anime 6B in a nutshell. Pump up your anime art's clarity while keeping it stylishly true. For your line art and animations, this is the magic touch. Stay bold, stay sleek, and elevate that anime game. Alright guys, get ready for the 4x underscore nmkd psyx underscore 200k upscaling method. This baby is all about boosting image resolution while keeping a keen eye on those fine details and reducing those pesky artifacts. Whether you're working with photographs, digital art, or illustrations, this method brings out a cleaner, more detailed look, that's the bee's knees. So, if you're aiming for top-notch, refined details in your images, the 4x underscore nmk dsiax underscore 200k has got your back. Upgrade your visuals and take M to the next level. And that's the rundown on 4x underscore nmk dsiax underscore 200k. It's your partner in refining and magnifying those image details while keeping everything clean and artifact free. Alright, moving on. Next up on our list is the 4x anime sharp. So, if you're into anime and you want up the game on your images, let me tell you about this rad up scaling method called 4x anime sharp. This bad boy is all about making your anime style pictures look crisper and clearer without messing up their vibe. Whether it's your cool illustrations, animations, or other artsy stuff, it keeps those popping colors, slick lines, and that signature anime flair on point while boosting the resolution. 
Basically, it's like giving your images a mega upgrade while keeping it real with that anime look we all love. Alright, let's talk about something cool. The 4X underscore NMKD superscale SP underscore 178,000 underscore G upscaling method. This one is all about bumping up your image resolution while keeping those fine details sharp and cutting down on those pesky artifacts. Whether it's your snapshots, digital masterpieces, or illustrations, this method is your go-to for getting that cleaner, more detailed look. Perfect for when you want to bring out the best in a wide variety of images. So, wrapping this up, if you're looking to take your images to the next level with crisp details and less clutter, the 4X underscore NMKD dash super scale dash SP underscore 17800 underscore G has got your back. It's like giving your visuals the VIP treatment they deserve. Next up, the Swineer underscore for X. It's awesome for boosting image quality, protecting those details, and ditching artifacts. But hey, it's kinda slow. Big pictures or need speed. Think twice, use it smart. Alright, here's a cool trick with the on-the-fly upscaler. You start by generating a base image, right? Then you hit up that upscaler button. And bam, pick the right model from the upscaling method list. It's like a backup plan for when you space out and forget to choose your upscaling method during creation. Keep your images looking sharp and fly, even on the rebound. And that wraps up our tutorial for today. If you dug what you saw, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Got questions or something to say? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for your continued support. And don't hesitate to drop by again. Take care and see you around.